What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys part 13 for my playthrough on Pokemon Legend Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episodes, we complete the trials of the three lakes. And in today's video, we're going to be continuing on with the end of the main story. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing it really does go a long way helps you grow as a content creator and lets me know you guys are enjoying the content across the channel but before we get started making our way up to mount coronet i gotta craft some items you guys always know we're gonna need some more pokeballs at all times we're gonna need some potions all that good stuff because you know we're gonna be battling a little bit and I, of course i don't really have a lot of materials to craft good stuff we can craft some of these can i change them into that i cannot we can't craft any revives good thing we have five i think we're chilling with everything that we have our team is looking pretty spiffy our team is healed up i'll showcase it for you guys we're rocking with typhlosion cleaver basket legion bravey ari voltorb we cannot evolve yet until we get a leaf stone and then sligo we can evolve anytime in the rain he just has to be level 50 and has to be raining but due to this uh little distortion that's going on i think weather is neutral so we can't really do anything with the weather so let's move on here let's get rolling up to mount coronet but yo look at who we got just chilling here do i have a luxury yet i might not have a luxury yet. and of course it's gonna see me and i really do not want to battle it so you know what i'm out of here i'm out of here i do have my deer i want to use my uh, deer but i kind of just want to walk around here and check things out but he's gonna attack me so yeah we hopping on the deer let's get after it this way electabuzz i believe we caught one in the alabaster ice land so we're thriving here more electabuzzes but more importantly there is a monster over here is he not spawned there he is lovely yo good old electabuzz not just any electabuzz alpha electabuzz that i cannot catch yet because i'm not high enough star rank but that's more of a later game thing where you can catch him so we're just gonna roll over here we're gonna head over to the entrance of mount coronet like I said, we're pretty much almost done this main story. I thought today would be the finale, or this episode would be the finale, but I think we're going to chop it into two parts, maybe not do hour-long episodes, maybe just chop it into, like, 245s, and just see how that goes in the next episode. Should be the finale for the main story, and then we can head on to do, to do some post-game stuff and all that good stuff. Because, you know, post-game's a lot of fun in this game. It definitely is a lot of fun. Let's roll out here. We make our way to the stone portal, and I know battle's coming up, and who do I want to have out first? Might as well have our Typhlosion down here first. Typhlosion rocks. And he's our starter. You gotta love him. You gotta love him. And our Pokemon might be a little under level, but we should still be able to trash on these guys. Get after it that way. They might be able to do some big damage, take out a few of my Pokemon. But I think we should win all the battles all around. Because there's really only one hard battle in this game. And that is going to be the final battle, even if it's in post game. It's the final battle of the post game, which is pretty crazy. Tough battle, but really, really fun to do. Well, we make our way here and we got Benny over here talking up a storm, talking about how this distortion's going on and what's going on at the top of Mount Coronet. Because right now we're in the cave. We're almost at the top of there. But before we even do that, he's like, hey, yo, kid, let's battle up. Let's get it rolling. So we're going to have to battle this dude. I'm going to have to smoke up on him. He's going to drop a snow smoke bomb. Look at him. Does he change fits? Yeah, look at him, y'all. He changes fits real quick. Puts on a mask. Looking like a ninja. That's like a ninja pose, too. And he's just ready to rock. He's ready to rock. So this is Benji over here. It's a lot of cool Pokemon. I'm not even going to lie. A lot of cool Pokemon. So, he's going to start off with Miss Magius. So sick. And do we outspeed this thing? Please tell me we outspeed this. Half Flosion. Outspeed. Get the first turn on this thing. Get the first turn, buddy. You're my starter for a reason. Oh, no. Okay, he misses Hypnosis. That's huge. That is huge. Thank the Lord. So, now I can just go into a straight Shadow Ball, Infernal Parade. But Shadow Ball is probably going to reply. I'm just going to drop an Agile style just to get two turns out of it. Maybe we can take him out in one shot and just have some nice little speed boost here. So we're going to drop a nice little Shadow Ball here, get off some big damage, and we get to go again. And in this case, I'm just going to drop another Shadow Ball. I should have switched to Agile, but it is what it is. Later, Miss Magius, get on out my face. So dump on that easily. He's going to throw out his next Pokemon, which I believe it should be Sneasler, right? Nope, Gardevoir. I think he has Gardevoir, Sneasler, and a Gallade. I think that's what he's rocking with. But he's going to end up Combine here, and I have a feeling just a big old Moonblast coming in high here, right? Or are we up now? Nope, he gets to switch Strong Style. He's going to send a big old Psychic. And that's a... Uh, that's later, Typhlosion. That is later. And that's ridiculous, man. He gets two turns, can set up Combine easily and just roll off from there. That is ridiculous. I could go into uh, Basket Legion here. It could be really, really good. So Basket Legion can hit hard. We could save our Sligu. I'm really liking Basket Legion here. I do dig him. Let's do it. Roll out into my strong boy. Considering Combine set up, we have to get after this thing. We have to get after this thing. We get two turns, though. We do get two turns. So we get Shadow Ball here. And I think after this turn, maybe, just maybe... His defense will go down. Yeah. Return back to normal. Beautiful. Now we can finish this thing off with a lovely Shadow Ball again. The Shadow Ball is just ripping his team. Right now. So get on out of here, Gardevoir. You were calm, mind boosted, and you did some mean damage to my poor little Typhlosion. Luckily, we have this Bash Legion. Bash Legion has always been a great level for us, just teeing off. 
We're just gonna set up Glade, who can just sword chance and then go for a strong style move. Psycho Cook. Can we eat that? We do all day. Even through the sword dance. Even through the sword dance. My boy is teeing off. My boy is teeing off. You know, we're going for a strong style shot here. Glade's boosted. We have to do some big damage on this thing. So stab Shadow Ball flying out here. Ripping into him. Take him out. Oh my god. Bashku Legion. It's beautiful, dude. This thing rips. This thing rips through Pokemon all day. Final Pokemon is going to be Sneasel, like I said. And this thing's going to take me out of here. Dire Claw. Beal. Actually, ooh, went for that poison move, though. Dire Claw again. I guess that's all he has. I guess that's all he's ripping with. Well, he is fighting and poison. I got Drowsy. Wow, that's such a sick move. But I guess that's what he's uh, ripping with. It's going to be... Because uh, he can't hit me with a fighting move. He's fighting and poison. So, like, I guess he's just using poison. Then Headbutt finds her. And, dude, Bashku Legion just sweeps out. No problem. This thing is phenomenal. This thing is phenomenal. Absolutely love Pokemon. I knew he would be one of my favorite Pokemon to use. His stats are amazing. He's very, very bulky and he hits like a truck. Look how much XP he just got. 11,000. 11,364. Beautiful amount of XP. Everybody gets some levels except for my boy Typhoid because, you know, he died out there. He was dead. He got, he got beat up on. But we're chilling here. Let's roll out. Let's go up there and... Our little Commander Kamado. What's his name? Yeah, Commander Kamado. Little tongue twitch there. Sitting at the top of the peak. Benji's like, hey, yo, jeans. Get up there. Go talk to him. Say what's up. Say hi. All that good stuff. But hopefully he healed up my Pokemon. He did indeed. That is beautiful. He does heal up my Pokemon. Now we can head to Mount Cornet Peak in pursuit of Commander Kamado. Beautiful. Let's do it. Let's get after it. And I think we might have to battle him. We might have to battle him. I know we battle him sometime. It might be post-game. It might be a post-game thing, but finally, after our long-awaited journey, we make our way to the top here of Mount Cornet, where the Rift has been here the whole time. So, like, ever since the beginning, we hopped onto the island. We're sitting here, we're like, yo, dude, what is up with that Rift? We've been looking at the Rift every single day, and now we're finally at the peak where the Rift lies. We got Adamant. We got Arita, leader of Diamond Clan, leader of Pearl Clan. I'm saying, hey, Jeans, how you doing? I'm saying, hey, yo, what up, baby girl? How you doing? But, yo, they're so, they're so cool. And if you guys haven't watched the last episode, we picked the Pearl Clan. We did pick the Pearl Clan. We had the, uh, we had the, uh, design, or not the design, the, uh, blah, 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 the decision to join either Diamond or Pearl Clan. We ended up going Pearl because, you know, I'm a Pearl fan guy at heart. At heart, I've always, been a, I've always been a Pearl guy. Ever since I was young, I had, I had Pearl on the Nintendo DS, so I rocked out with Pearl in, uh, for the Clan year. I did buy Brilliant Diamond because I, I never had Diamond as a kid, but... But I'm a pro. I'm a pearl person. Next mission, talk to Commander Kamado. We have to talk sense to him because he's going out of his mind. And I think battle here. Yo, look at his sick suit, dude. This dude looks like he means business. Pokeball sashed up on the side of him. Come on, yo. This guy means business. And he has the little ninja headband on. Yo, I got one, too. I'm wearing a headband right now, too. <laughs> Perfect timing, man. Me and Commander Kamado rocking headbands. And now he wants to fight me. He's saying AO jeans. Let's get after it. I'm like, dude, you really want to do this? Does he know who he's messing with, guys? I don't think he knows that he wants to smoke. He has four Pokemon. How you going to challenge me to a battle when you only have four Pokemon? Get out of my face. He's going to toss out his first one. It's going to be Braviardi. And Braviardi is so sick. Love it. I love it how we evolved him in the last episode, too. Kind of stinks that we couldn't get Sligo to evolve into Hitsui and Gudra. Would have been lovely. But we can go into just a straight, uh, straight Shadow Ball here. I was gonna go to I was gonna switch to Agile or maybe even strong, but I just think a regular Shadow Ball. I was gonna say a regular Shadow Ball could do the work, but obviously cannot. Maybe we get a high roll here, or can we go twice if we go Agile? We cannot. So you know what? We're just gonna go for regular. I could have went for a strong, but let's rock out here. Maybe get a high roll here. Mm. Ain't ain't budging. He calls back, Braviar. That's huge, yo. My type version just ripping. Ripping. And he's gonna go into Swax, so we're gonna definitely need Cleaver for that. Cleaver is definitely gonna be your buddy. We're gonna go for flamethrower, maybe look for a burn here. Chip up some damage. This thing's bulky. Give me a burn. Give it to me. Give me a burn. No burn. High horsepower. This thing's ripping with high horsepower. I always forget the coverage moves that Swax can learn. I'm just rip through. All right, Cleaver. Let's go. Get on out of here, man. We still have our Basquiat in the back, which we know Basquiat you can rip up into. And I might just go into a strong style close combat here, or can I agile swords dance? Let's just take this thing out. Close combat. Can we do enough damage here? Strong style move. Chip up on him. Take him out, please. My boy Cleaver. Yo, Cleaver has been phenomenal for this playthrough too. So, so strong. Doesn't really take hits too well, but hits like an absolute truck. Absolute truck. He's going to throw out Golem. My basketball just says, hey, oh, that's an easy fight there. He's going to miss his rock slide, which is beautiful. I think he gets two turns though. Yeah, Stealth Rock's going to come through here. My boy Cleaver eats. 
Splinters are going to jag into him, but he's going to get one more turn before he rolls out. So, you know what? Actually, can we go? Oh, we could go. We could go into a regular sword stance here. And then go into a close combat. I'm with it all day. Oh, no. Splinters don't kill me. It really did 49 damage. That is nuts. That is nutty. That it did 49 damage. Who do I bring out here? Could bring out Bash Legion, but I kind of want to save him. We could go into Voltorb. And I'm liking Voltorb here because he rips. His special attack stat is so high. But I wish he was an Electrode. That is so stupid. Oh, that just happened there. That is whack. 49 damage? That is nutty. But look at that, dude. Voltorb ripping through. One tap and golem, no problem. Get him out of my face. He's probably going to send out. Ooh, Clefable. I thought it was going to be Braviary. So Clefable's going to be his final mod. We do have his Sui and uh, Sligum to work on. Now. Then from here, we could just go into a, a Thunder. What do I want to do here? I think we go into a Thunderbolt. I don't want to miss my Thunder. Thunder misses way too much. Thunderbolt comes out here. Give me the para. Give it to me. Woo! 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 <laughs> Big old Paralyze coming out there. That's huge. And now I can roll into Sligum. And Sligum can... Uh, I think I can take out Clefable maybe? In an agile turn and a regular turn. Because agile is, oh, does not give us two. That's whack. That's whack. So we'll just use one here and it takes it out one shot. Good old Hisuian Sligo. He's going to throw out his last Pokemon, which is going to be that Braviary on like one HP. My Sligo should just be able to eat up a shot and then finish that thing off. No problem. As for when he comes through here, that's a tasty snack. Dude, my boy resists too much. He has air moves and psychic moves. We are just soaking up shots. That's why he's just so good. That's why he's just so good. Ironheads can come in here and Commander Kamado. Get on out my game. Get on out my face. Get slapped on pretty easily. That was light work. That was light work. Light work. Now let's see how much XP we get. That's the only problem with like leading Typhlosion. He never gets XP because he's always dying. Oh my god. Sligo with 11,000. Basket Legion gets 6,000. Baby Rider gets 6,000. They all level up. It's beautiful. Mwah. It is beautiful. It is lovely. It is lovely. So let's see. I think he's on our side now because he kicked us out of the village. Now look at him. Begging for mercy. <laughs> this dude. This dude. But yeah, he, he kicked me out of the village and now I beat him and now he wants to be my friend and all that stuff, be on my side. If if I if I was if I was that character, I would just put him in a Pokeball. I wonder if that if that's a thing. You guys ever wonder that? Like say like I'm arguing with somebody in the Pokemon universe. Can I just throw a Pokeball at him and just put him in there for a little bit? Like, maybe he'll stay out because he's not a Pokemon and won't click down. But maybe we'll just give him a scare. Like, let him know. Like, here, like, I'll throw a bunch of Pokeballs at you. <laughs> like, how scary would that be if, if someone throws a Pokeball at you? You go inside it and pop out. I'd be terrified, dude. I wouldn't want to mess with that, dude. That'd be nutty. <laughs> That'd be nutty. When my boy heals up our Pokemon, this view is pretty dope. You is pretty dope. Well, it's cooler when you come here post-game. But I always love these statues right here. If you look at the statues, it's all the new Pokemon in the game. Look at this. You got Weird Ear. You got Cleavor. You got Ursa Luna. Uh, what is this? Uh, Lilligant. Basque Legion. Basque Legion statue looks sick. I would love to get one of them, like, replicated. Like, a small stone statue. I also have Arcanine. They have Sneasler. They have Braviary. Hisui and Electrode. I, honestly, I'm not even gonna lie, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. When I first played through this game on my stream, you guys haven't checked out my stream. Name is on the face game. Or the layout. Jeans. 25 on Twitch. <laughs> Link is down in the description below. Definitely go check me out. But on my first playthrough, I thought this was Jack the Skeleton. I was like, dude, why did they have a statue of Jack the Skeleton from Nightmare Before Christmas on? Like, it looks exactly like it. Not even gonna lie. Look, look at it. It looks exactly like it. And then it has Avalug and Braviary as its last two. And I kind of want to go look over here. And of course, there's like an invisible wall there. I want to see if there's like any cool items over here. I guess not. We cannot go any farther. They just want us to go straight up there and talk to our boys. Right at the top. Mount Coronet into the temple. The Sinnoh Temple, baby. And we have the red chain. They're like, hey, yo, jeans, bring that out. I'm like, here you go. Here's a red chain, and something cool is about to happen. Something dope is about to happen. Rita's hearing things. Something's telling her to hold the red chain. There you go, man. He gives me, oh, it gives me 10 Ultra Balls. I love you, man. I love you. I totally forgot he does that. So it gives me 10 Ultra Balls because, you guys are about to see in a second, we're going to be facing off with a legendary. And I'm definitely catching it. I'm definitely catching I should have saved beforehand. Oh, no. Oh, no. I should have saved beforehand. Looks like we might be killing this thing. But, yo. The, what is it called? The graphics for this dude? Tough. So good. Like, cannot wait for more Pokemon games like this. 
Look at my dude, Palkia steps out of the dimensional rift. He comes out and he looks so sick. He looks so sick. You cannot tell me that the next Pokemon game should not be like this. Look at that thing, dude, he looks so sick. We never seen legendaries like this before. That looks amazing, dude. Looks phenomenal. We hit him with that red chain. It breaks off. Oh no. It's about to go down. <laughs> he does a big little yelling. Yo, dude, I forgot to save. I forgot to save. Yo, if you guys are going to the temple, make sure your game is saved just in case you kill this thing or something. You can go back and catch it. I heard it's not that hard to catch, but he's going to rock out with a hydro pump and he misses. That is beautiful to get a start here. My type is definitely going to go down here. And I'm going to go straight into a shadow ball here. I don't want to go into a flamethrower because A, it's not very effective, and B, we can burn him. And we do get the defense drop. Oh, that's love. He's going to hide your pump. And my boy's dead. My boy Typhlosion's dead. Okay, we're going to hop out here and... Oh, what should I do here? I'm going to go into Voltorb here. I know it's defense drop, so I do not want to hit it too hard. And I'm just going to go into a Spark. Spark is 65 power. This should not KO it. Right? Beautiful. Love that damage. Love it, love it, love it. Spatial Man's coming through, and look how sick this looks. Hey, it hits me too. Kills my little Voltorb. All right, we got this thing down to yellow. I I didn't really have trouble catching it last time, so I think we should be fine. We're going to throw out our Bash Legion here. We're just going to start hucking Ultra Balls all day. But, yo, know, before we even start hucking, look at my dude. Look at him. He's so sick. I love how you can walk up and kind of just, like, look at the Pokemon, too. Bash Legion's, like, wandering around, like, hey, yo, what's going on? Look at his little derpy face. Come here, dude. Come here, dude. Look at his little derpy face. <laughs> but, yo, let's see. Yo, I got this. Ready? First try with the Ultra Ball. Let's put this dude away. Where's my Ultra Balls at? Here they are. I was going to say. I should have some Ultra Balls. First Ultra Ball. I'm calling it now. Right here, baby. Catching Palkia first time for all the subscribers, baby. For all the subs. Oh, my God, yo. Of course. Of course. The game hates me. It's like, jeans. We ain't doing it for the subs. <laughs> but you know what they say, yo. Second time's charge. The charm. His defense stats went back to normal. I do not, I still don't want to hit it, especially with Bash Legion. Bash Legion is my strongest mod. And I think I can definitely kill it if I hit it. So, Pokeball comes out here. Ah. Come on, man. Let me catch you, dude. Let me catch you. Smash around coming out here. We can suck up another one. You know, he keeps hitting me. We suck up another one. I could use a potion, but you know, I'm all about that Pokeball. We're going to huck another one. And I'm going to do the ye old cheat code. So, you hit X, A, Y, B, and then A, A twice, and it catches it every single time. Every single time. Dude, uh, did I hit the wrong buttons? <laughs> did I hit the wrong buttons? Let me try it again. Let me try it again. I might hit the wrong button. Let me try the cheat code again. Oh, it's before you throw the Pokeball. Okay, it's before you throw the Pokeball. It's AA on the... Okay, I got it. I did it wrong. I did it wrong, guys. Give me a sec. So let me show you guys how it's done. So you go over here. You go into your items. And you hit X, Y, B. And then you go back into your items. And then you hit AA. Right. Cheat codes on deck, yo. Cheat codes on deck. That is how it's done. Catches a Pokemon every single time. See, what did I say? What did I say? Works every single time. <laughs> if you guys want to know that trick, I'll do it again. X A B A A. We got to throw the Pokeball on the A A. Works every single time. If you guys struggle to catch Pokemon, your boy Jeans got gotcha. you. <laughs> but there it is. Caught Palkia. Caught, a, caught the almighty Pokemon of Sinnoh. Okay, dude. Got to love it. Got to love it. Look at them. They're sitting there like, oh, I taught you well. Yo, I did everything. You guys did not teach me anything. You guys didn't teach me anything. Get out of my face. I was alone half the time traversing through canyon lands, fighting giant iceberg Pokemon on my own with nothing but bags of powder. <laughs> with nothing but bags of powder. But look who else comes through the rift. My main man, the Alga, dude. He looks sick, too. He looks sick, too. And don't worry, guys. No matter what clan you pick, Palkia or Dialga, you get to catch them both. You will be able to catch them both, which is absolutely amazing. It is amazing. Palkia's gonna do his little roar time. Well, not Palkia. Dialga's gonna do a roar time, and that looks so sick. That looks phenomenal. Hey, dude, Palkia looks cooler than, uh, or Dialga looks cooler than Palkia in this game. I don't know why. I think they made him a little, a little bit bigger, and just looks a lot tougher. Looks a lot tougher. He's going to need to do his big sound. All of you, we must vacate this area right now. You got it, man. Look, look, now he wants to give me orders after he just kicked me out of town. But yeah, we'll vacate the area. We'll come back. 
That's what we gotta do next episode. Just come back there and get grinding with that. We make our way back to the base camp where we just, everything started off in today's video. And let's see what they have to say. Such dreadful power, it's certainly beyond our capabilities to survey such a creature. Your guys' capability. My capabilities, um, plentiful. I am more than capable of taking on that thing. I just took on Palkia, and you guys are going to be like, you can't take on him? What do you mean? I legit just called him in front of all you guys' faces. And you're not going to let me take on his little brother? <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> Come on. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> this game's so much fun though. I've been having a blast doing the playthrough. If you guys do enjoy th uh, these videos at any time, make sure you like them up. Really does go a long way. And again, not subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> subscribe to the channel. We have tons of more content coming along the way. Alongside with new uh, Nintendo content. Because I can't wait for Strikers to come out. I think we're going to be grinding that game on my stream. And doing a little bit of playthrough on that. But that's mostly going to be a stream game. Where we just grind online. Have some fun and just mess around with viewers and all. And I'll probably do, like, viewer matches in that. Like, that's a game where you could just run up against viewers and talk a lot of trash. Like, if I score against uh, some of the viewers, just know your boy's going to be talking trash. But it's all out of love for the GH community. i never talk real trash on you guys. I'll talk trash, but it, but it won't mean anything. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. It's like when you're uh, talking trash to your friend, like, yelling at him and everything, but you really don't mean it. You're just messing around. That's how I, that's how I feel with you guys. We have that connection. We have that jeans, the jeans community connection. <laughs> <laughs> well, we get done talking to these guys so like hey yeah we're gonna definitely have to head back up there and i was just like dude why'd you make me walk all the way down if we gotta head back up there but that is weird like that's one thing that they do in this game a lot which i never understood they were always like hey yo jeans like go to this area and then they'll like bring me back to an area and then they'll be like okay now walk all the way back there which makes no sense makes no sense but uh, what's this chick's name mally yeah melly melly Part of the Diamond Clan, I believe. Talking with my boy Ar Armada, and I think he's so sick too. I think all the characters in this game are really, really cool. I think they did good on the design. I think they designed the Diamond Clan people better than the uh, Pearl Clan people. Like they, but they both fit in their own aspects. If that makes sense. They both, they both like their designs both fit their presence. Like if you looked at Armada and uh, Arita, you know exactly. Okay, that's Diamond Clan. That's Pearl. Clan. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. But not gonna lie, Arita looks like she's just wearing a pink outfit, and she could be going for anything but armada's like okay you're wearing that big blue for a reason you must be in a diamond clan you know <laughs> like look at him he even has like that blue hair he does have some tough hair his hair's sick he has the one hair length coming down then he has the top ponytail oh looking fire looking real good i never really liked that one guy never really liked that one guy but we have another little, little counter mission here before we actually start and it's called the counterpart we have to head to the place we can obtain the origin orb. So we have the rent chain for Palkia. We need the origin orb for, uh, for what's it called? For Diago. But before we actually do that, rare spawn alert right here. We got my boy Rotom. And I don't think I caught Rotom in this, uh, playthrough yet. So might as well catch him. He's a rare spawn. I want him. Go get that little dude. I should have an ultra ball here. Yes, sir. Eat up. Eat up. Eat up. Bop. Catch me. Catch me a nice, lovely Rotom. I threw another one just in case he popped out. But there it is. Brand new Rotom. Rare Pokemon sponsor. I think it only spawns a certain time of day. So, you guys look for him. That's exactly where he spawns. And where's my Braviary at? Braviary. Let's go. Now that we got that, we can dip down. And I definitely want this Tumble Stone just to, uh, for crafting materials. Because, you know, you cannot go wrong with crafting materials. And now we'll dip down again. We shall dip down another layer. I'll dip down here again. Because there's a shiny one. Crafting materials, always worth it. Always worth it. Hook this this way. We got a bronzer there. I'm really not worried about them. And we got a nose pass there too. Nose pass is cool. And an alpha probo pass. <laughs> probo pass so sick. I, I want to look at his stash, dude. Or his little beard, yo. Look at him, yo. He's looking so tough. Little beard over there. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. But we make our way towards this little destination. The Primaval Grotto. The Primeval Grotto. And there's nose passes that spawn here. There's some cool materials. I think other Pokemon can spawn here. Why? I did not want to do that. I wanted to grab that. But if you come to this back area, I wonder in post game if you can get Rampardos and Bastion by coming up here. I do have Rampardos and I found them in a rift. So I'm guessing you can find Bastion there too, but there is that. There is the little fox. We'll get that and then we'll make our hard left and go to this cool little rock area right here and grab ourselves the Origin Ore, which is legit just chilling here. It is just chilling here for the taking. Lovely little taking. What a curious cave. I feel extraordinary power here. So do I. So do I. I'm trying to get my water, guys. <laughs> My throat's like a little dry, so it's like when I talk for long periods of time, obviously when I'm 
Fortnite talk for a long period of time. My throat kind of, it does a little sting. It does a little sting, like where I want to cough, but then I don't want to cough, and then I just drink some water. Then I'm back fueled up, feeling really, really good. But now we got, oh no, do we have to battle these girls again? These are the worst. The absolute worst. The sisters over here. Okay, I, I'm not hoping we can battle them, because I can actually steal some XP from them. Well, let's see, they've been causing us trouble all playthrough long. God, I want to battle them, actually. Let's run it up. We are. We took a battle stance. That's 100% a battle. She says good luck. Let's run up. She's the eldest. Let's go Typhoid. I want to I want to defeat it with Typhoid because uh, I want Typhoid to get some XP. And we just defeated people with three poke or four Pokemon and four Pokemon. And now you're going to throw two at us. Of course, she's ripping with a ride on turn one. I don't like it. I do not like it. I do not like it. Can we go for an Agile shot or should we just hard? 61. God dang. Uh, Agile will not do anything, so we're just gonna go for a regular Shadow Ball here. Oh, uh, do half at least. Beautiful, and you miss your attack. Strong style. We're dead. We're dead, Bulldoze, later. Poor Typhoid, you're getting peace up today. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. And we're gonna bring out, we're gonna bring out Voltorb, because Voltorb is only level 53, and he rips, dude. You guys saw, he took out a Golem in one shot. And he's not even a bomb. And I do have to give him a better move. He does learn a better grass move, which I have to give him, which he might only get when he evolves. He might only get it when it evolves, so we'll, we'll see later. We'll definitely see later. Full truck takes him out. He's going to throw out Gengar. Gengar's probably going to go right now. Up Shadow Ball and eat this up. I don't think he will. Yeah, dead all day. He hits like a truck, but he's a glass cannon because he hasn't evolved yet. We can throw out Pashka Legion, and Pashka Legion's definitely going to get out there. We're just going to wipe the floor with this thing. One shot with a strong style Shadow Ball. Get that stab damage on top of it. Say GG's. Get out of my face, Gengar. Yo, Gengar's sick. Always been a sick Pokemon. He can never go wrong with Gengar on, in any Pokemon game. Like, there's a few Pokemon in each generation. Like, you throw them in the game, the game's going to be a banger every single time. Like, for Gen 1, Gengar's up there. Gyarados up. Gen 1 probably has the most because there's a lot of bangers. Gyarados, Alakazam. You can throw a lot of them in there. Gen 2, you're rocking out with Tyranitar and Scissor. They're definitely, in, like, top tier up there. Gen 3, I'm trying to think of Gen 3. Metagross, Salamence. I think Breloom's a banger, but that might just be my opinion. That might just be my opinion. Gen 4, obviously, has some bangers. A lot of the evolutions can be Garchomp, all that good stuff. What about Gen 5? Gen 5 Excadrill? You throw Excadrill in any game, it's making it a banger. <laughs> Gen 6, Greninja's up there just for a starter. I think Greninja's one of the cool starters. I'm trying to think of other Gen 6 Pokemon. Hydreigon's pretty cool. Hydreigon. I feel like I'm blanking on a lot of the Gen 6 Pokemon. Gen 5, you could throw in Electros. It is cool. But Gen 6, isn't Gudra in Gen 6? Or is Gudra Gen 7? It's just pseudo legendary for Gen 7. That one might be Gudra. I can't think of it. No, it it is Gudra for Gen 7. Gen 6 is Hydreigon. And Gen 5 is. Actually, is Gen 5 Hydreigon? Wait a minute. I think Gen 5 is Hydreigon. Gen 6 is. I can't think of the pseudos. I can't think of the pseudos. Gen 1's. Now we gotta think of the pseudos, guys. I got to report back to Leventon with the ore, but let me think of the pseudos, man. Gen 1's Dragonite, Gen 2's Tyranitar, Gen 3's Salamence Metagross, Gen 4 is Garchomp, Gen 5 is, I think, Hydreigon. Can we climb this wall? Thank you. Gen 5, I believe, is Hydreigon, right? I think Gen 5 is Hydreigon. Gen 6. I can't think of it. Let me know in the comment section down below. I know once I stop recording today, it's going to pop up in my mind. It's gonna pop up in my mind. Gen 7 might be Gudra. I can't think of them. I really cannot. Gen 8 Stragapult. 5, 6, and 7. I'm blanking on them all, man. I'm blanking on all of them. I think Dragon. They're always Dragon. No, I'm gonna have to look this up. Give me one second. I'm gonna do it as I'm recording. I'm gonna do it as I'm recording. Look at me climbing a tree. We're gonna stick to the tree right here. Don't worry, guys. I got you guys. I got you guys. Searching it up on my other monitor. We got them all right here. I'm going to look at them. I'm going to be like, dude, how did I know this? Oh, there they are. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's all of them. So we got Dragonite, Tyranitar, Salamence, Metagross, Garchomp's four. Then you got Hydreigon for five. Gudra six. Seven is Konamo'o. And then last one is going to be Dragon. 
Okay, I got it. That's it. Those are the ones, baby. Those are the ones. I love it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I forgot Konomoa. That was the last one. He's kind of one of the ones that go under the radar, in my opinion. So that's why. So we get our origin orb. We talk about our pseudo legendaries, and now we're headed back to town before we actually finish off today's video because the last part is going to be the end of the main story. And I definitely want to do that in a different episode. But look at my boy Rowlet just chilling up on the tree. And you can actually get those if you guys haven't checked out my uh my playthrough. Well, not my playthrough, my guide on starters. You can actually get the, the other starters that you haven't picked once you finish the main story. You just head back here to Professor Leviton. It's like, hey, yo, jeans. Take these Pokemon. I'm like, I, I'll take them all day. But I've never seen Oshawa before, and I just realized he's in a little tank. Because in my other game, I had Samurai, and so that means Cyndaquil was chilling out here. And he was, Cyndaquil was just chilling on a bench. It's actually kind of funny. Cyndaquil was legit just chilling there on a bench. Oshawa's chilling in a tank, which I, which I think is really, really cool. And then you got Rowlet just fluttering up on a tree. Just chilling on the tree. Just chilling on a tree. My boy Lavington. Lavington, I think it's Lavington. I think, I've been, I think I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. I've been saying Leventon. It's Leventon. He's going to form a brand new Pokeball with that Origin Ore, which is going to be the Origin Ball. And that can be used to catch Palkia or Palkia or Diago or any Pokemon in their Origin form, which is only two Pokemon in this game. <laughs> but they give us the Origin Ball. That is lovely. That is lovely. And I could actually put Palkia on my team to fight the Dialga. Which, I mean, I could do, but I'd rather just use my team that I've been rocking with this they are definitely where it's at. But we get our last mission, which is prepare to make it to the Temple of Sinnoh for one last time. And we're going to be taking that on in the next episode. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to be doing the finale, the last episode for the main story. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.